You're listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, that's gotta be it's gonna be public domain by now. <laughs> it's classical. They didn't even have lawyers back then. Getting sued by Mendelssohn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had that note in my notebook. All all classical all classical uh music is done by cover bands, something to that effect. Well, like Flying back from just any any symphony. Here it's a fucking cover band. Because all this shit well, no one writes yeah. classical music anymore, do they? I don't know. But then I heard someone else do a similar thing, so I shit canned it. But not for the podcast. I'll say it on the podcast. <laughs> It's probably Bill Burr. It's always Bill Burr. Hey, you know why this? See this coffee, Chad Shank? Yeah. See, see how light it is? As I say, it looks really like clear almost. It's a, <laughs> that's a Bailey's. And that Bailey's represents the only alcohol I've had in a, this day six. Wow. And only because I don't have coffee creamer out here, which I just realized no, I do, do have coffee creamer, but I don't have sugar. You've got what yeah, uh, it's, it's, anyone I've pitched it to says is the worst coffee creamer idea ever. What, Bailey's? Reese's peanut butter cup coffee creamer. I went to Ooh. Big Lots. No, I'm, I'm just. <laughs> you get a lot of shit done when you're sober and not. I understand smoking. that everyone loves Reese's peanut butter cups. There's no one who doesn't like a Reese's. And those are horrible. Have you tried? I them? had one, and I was like trying to power it down because Chase is like, "How is it?" Like smiling at me. I'm like, "Oh, it's not bad. You know, it's kind of you know." Everyone's gonna it's try. It's horrible. One. All- it is horrible. It's not good. That's I, what I, I meant by horrible. No, it doesn't I've been sound buying good. a lot of shit I don't need. <laughs> so yeah, no cigarettes, no alcohol except for this creamer amount size of Bailey's for a coffee for the podcast, and no downers. No Xanax. Holy shit. No. Have you been trying to live? (laughs) (laughs) It is weird. (laughs) Yeah, almost a week ago, uh, I ran out of cigarettes. Like at night, Morgan had just left. And she smokes half cigarettes. That was the night that we were here. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, she smokes. She'll smoke and leave a good half. And I love a good half of burned out. Yeah, clinchers, we used to call them. And Gump does the same. He'll he'll snuff out a cigarette halfway through. And leave it. And just leave it. Yeah. He'll light another one in two minutes. A classic Dave Attell. He does those with American spirits, too. Uh, so after I'd gone through every ashtray and smoked all the Morgan Murphy gump halvesies, then I'm completely out of cigarettes. And I'm like, fuck, I was going to stay up and drink and fuck with people on Twitter or whatever I was going to do. And now I have to just you know, take downers and hammer some, some double shots and go to bed. Put my knock myself out, but that's the best time to quit smoking is when you're out of cigarettes. You always wake up with five or six. I'm not throwing them away. I'll just smoke these, and then then all right, game on again. Gross. Go to the corner store, get another pack. <laughs> I remember you were uh, out. Morgan had just left, mm-hmm. and it was very funny. Morgan, we had done a podcast, and then Morgan was like, "Guys, come over. Let's have, let's have a drink. Just have over. a drink. We and get drinks here." Doug's like, "Okay, first of all." Your head is down on the bar. You're, you're about to fall asleep. And you want us to go over there, and then you're going to fall asleep. And then <laughs> no, she, she'll put on TV. She'll put on TV yeah, and, then, and yeah. watch it. And then, and then we'll just, then we'll be just standing there going, oh, we should have just stayed at the bar. So she leaves, and then Doug goes, oh, I'm out of cigarettes. And he's like kind of, I think he was doing that math in his head. And I go, oh, no, there's some over here. And that's when I found the halvesies. And then you... Went through four halvesies in no time, and mm-hmm. then you're like, man, I should have not said anything. I should have just quit winning, because you wanted to just quit, but you love the halvesies so much, yep. they'd still be there, sitting right there in a full ashtray if you didn't take them. Yeah, I, I smoked the shit out of those, but yeah. I did. So anyway, so yeah, I just I ran with it, and here I am. <laughs> My own sober October. I don't need to fucking... I, I'm not grandstanding on Twitter. I just had to say it to open up the podcast so you guys would know where my head is. It's Mm. fucking everywhere. Been about four hours sleep a night doing projects. I go to Sierra Vista twice a day just to wash a car or something. 
And then, oh, go have sushi for dinner, too. I'll wash <laughs> another car. Turn the fucking ringer off on this. Hi, honey, we're doing a podcast. Bye. <laughs> I swear to God. I the house is on fire. What do I... He hung up. <laughs> <laughs> Got pulled over uh, coming back from uh, Sierra Vista. The back way? Yeah, they're going the back way. Yep. 92. And, uh, 92 is the highway, not your yeah. speed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was doing 63 in a 55. So when I saw him coming towards me, I didn't even like fake braking because it's how would 92? Uh, it's 65 as soon as you get out of. No, that's what he said. He goes, "Do you know? Uh, you know why I stopped you? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, do you know what the speed limit here is? I go, I don't know, 55 or 65. And he goes, Yeah, it's not 65 till you get to the top of the hill. And you were doing 63 in a 50. So 63 in a 55. You fucking morsel. <laughs> you fucking nugget of shit. Yeah, I love that highway because I can haul ass on that highway. Well, that's, that's, a, that's a nice opening. And he said, well, you know, uh, he basically said, hey, between white people. <laughs> is, is, uh, he didn't even ask for my registration. I had my license ready and you have my fucking registration buried inside the, the user's manual. What? <laughs> you do. <laughs> well, who else would put it there? I, I don't who know. else? Would I put I the. I put license. Reaction. I put the. I put the registration and your the up to date uh, insurance. Uh, insurance cards in the booklet that yeah. is the owner's manual because who knows what the fuck goes on in those glove boxes? So you put it in the same place every time. You put it, and in the I same was place. also put in, in the ones the cars that don't have yeah, one. Put it, I put it in, in a Ziploc bag. Yeah, it's so it, they're together. The owner's manual is in a black. What looks like it's it's holster material, that nylon material. Yeah, yeah. I'm popping this open in a glove box in front of a cop. Oh, what looks like a holster, yes. holstered weapon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so he didn't even ask for anything. I gave him my license, and he, he says, listen, the reason is, uh, you know, this stretch of the highway, do you usually go this way? I go, no, I go the other way because it's faster. He goes, yeah, this way, right on this turn between here and the shell is uh, it's a big drug uh, where people bring in like drugs, corridor? drop off. A and he says people for- pull oh. over and pick up the drugs. And I said, I already got a guy. <laughs> <laughs> And I kept a straight face, and he kept talking, and then went, <laughs> did you just say you are, you already have a guy? I went, yeah. And then I laughed, and he laughed and said, do you work? And he didn't even say around here. He just said, do you work? Like, And then made a- Full stop, do you work, period? Yeah, yeah. and I said, I am a stand-up comedian. And he goes, yeah. Like, I, Do you think he was fishing for that? Because I don't think do you work is a standard yeah. question. I think you only ask stand-up comedians that's that. A, that's I, profiling. Well, it, it was exactly on the heels of my smart <laughs> fucky joke. Yeah. And, uh, but he didn't, he didn't say anything. He just smiled and then took my license back and either ran my name or Google searched my comedy. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. No ticket. No. Nope. Me either no. on the last time. Nah. It's where the road goes from two to one lane coming back. Uh, the back way, uh, it goes from two to one. And the reason I got the ticket or was going to get the ticket was because there was an RV in front of me and it was going to be one of those things where I can't get behind this guy for the whole stretch single lane. So I'll, I'll, I'll nudge it up a bit, get in front of him. And, th- and that's when the guy got me. I'm like, but you saw what, who wants to sit behind an RV for 22 miles? Right. Yeah. So I got uh, out of it f- f- fucking yesterday. Uh, uh, our friend Havelina, the uh, immigration attorney. She said I could use her name, but I like I, call her Havelina anyway. I, I, I was thinking you were talking about a Havelina. It took me for a second. It is odd because there are Havelinas out yeah. there. So, well, yeah. and he uses a different name for her every single time. I think so. we're sticking with Havelina, right? Yeah. She, she, I said, can I tell a story? Because she came down. She's a, a, a weed smoker like Chad and. A, Got her card and everything, and uh, heading back through the uh, checkpoint, border patrol checkpoint, uh, going the Sierra Vista way. Fucking stopped, fucking found her shit, searched all of her shit, went through everything, <coughs> told her we could have you arrested, and wow. we don't care. It's, For- not, it's federal law, you know. Federal law oh, supersedes it's- fucking state law. Yeah, that's. I'm always nervous every time I drive through there, but. So yeah, what she's a fucking, she's an attorney. She's got an ID that's she, uh, for her work. She's cleared Department of Homeland Security. Has she tried being whiter? <laughs> she Works should, for me. She should. Well, the problem is, 
she she tells him what she does. Yeah, no, she mm-hmm. yeah she fights you pricks. <laughs> So it doesn't it doesn't help. Oh, that's true. Yeah, she that's gets exactly what she all does. the fucking time too. So what what happened? She's they in jail. confiscated all of her shit and sent her on her way. Fucking pack your bags, fucking crying lady. And she goes, "Did you really? Is that what you signed up for? Is to fucking bust people's legal weed citizens? Your no. fucking neighbors? Yeah. You, uh, is eighth, that what, are you going to brag about the eighth yeah. of weed that you confiscated? <laughs> you and they have the press you, conference, you, and there's a small baggie that's like tied off you, at the top. You, we you, confiscated this much weed. You, you realize in the oh. desert right over there is <laughs> methamphetamine by the pounds right this minute. Yeah, this is on <laughs> Highway 90 outside of Fort Huachuca, Huachuca City. That no. checkpoint. If you know anything about she's going to follow up because she's an attorney and she knows you <laughs> fucking cocksuckers. But they wouldn't even give her any kind of paperwork saying that they confiscated her fucking... Her 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 well, skag. Yeah. I figured you get a receipt. Yeah, Might that's what do. she was asking yeah. for. She knows what to ask for, well, and sure. they're like, "No, no, fuck you." All right, fuck you. Listen, this brings me to a to Chad. Chad Shank and I were working on a script after the last podcast when you were over. <laughs> you know about uh, and because uh, I had mentioned on the podcast about uh, that book that I had read, American Prison by oh, Shane yeah, Bauer. Yeah. And uh, how at the end he buys because he couldn't get an interview with this corporation that runs this private prison uh, chain. So he realized, oh, I just buy one share of stock and I show up at the stockholders meeting and they can't they have to let me in. And then I can talk to the fucking CEO and all these pigs that run this uh, shit parade. And uh, and after the podcast, I go, I was talking. I don't know if I actually said it on the podcast. I go, that would be like the perfect way to go about yeah a mass killing say so then you find the real pricks that are responsible the people that are actually buying politicians are there yeah. and then chad had his and i can't even remember which your idea was kind of better i still like buying <laughs> it in theory but if you're just mass killing is wrong but yeah, if you're going to use this situation if you're we going to use one of these situations in a uh, in a storyline of a you know, like, what was the movie that Bobcat did where the guy that just goes oh. and kills all the appropriate God people? bless America, yeah. I think it was. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. What was your idea? Well, mine, I think you liked mine because mine had a, a double entendre. It had some political implications because I don't like – if you shoot up your own school – there's a certain degree of respect for that. Like, you know who those people are. You're probably letting the good people go and shooting the assholes. Not that I condone that, but it's kind of a general feeling. But like people that go to like a kindergarten and are just, you know, that's literally fish in a barrel. That's so I was thinking about it and I thought my, my way would be to shoot up a gun show. You shoot adults. <laughs> oh, that's right. You shoot adults that have the ability to shoot back at you. And that those ones will actually count, I think, for more. Go the week after you just, buy a gun but, illegally. But it, and that's the thing is, there's all kinds of of political implications because it, it kind of shuts down the good guy with the gun, bad guy with the gun oh, yeah. argument. And there's and also the loophole of being able yeah. to get a gun at yeah. a gun show. Yeah. yeah, no, that you'd have to do that. You'd have to use a gun you just bought. <laughs> Bring your own ammo. Thank you. Yeah, one, <laughs> once you once you clear one corner, you got plenty of ammo. Ammo's not the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you can walk around with ammo, right? He's loaded. So I guess you'll put that up as a uh, as a, a poll. <laughs> no, no, no. Like Monsanto stockholders <clears throat> meeting <clears throat> with all the Monsanto shitheads or Dow Chemical, whoever it is, shithead corporation versus. Somewhat innocent people at a gun shop. <laughs> <laughs> if this was Impractical Jokers, where we had to convince a focus group to be on your side. But that's what made me think of it, is, wow, those Border Patrol stations, that's a fucking wide open. Like, you'd think they'd be more guarded. Yeah. Oh, if it's raining, they're closed completely. <laughs> oh, that, that, that one yeah. is. Yeah. You know, I just found out from Tom, uh, the back hill behind us here. Uh, where we used to, well, not often, but we used to go up there because it's we're at five thousand feet. It gets a little, uh, you get it's a little a, breathy. It's a hiking Heading, trail. Yeah. It's akin to, to L.A. people is uh, the never Hollywood mind. Hills. 
Yeah, what's the one? The, the rah, 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 fucking... Rah, rah, rah? Rah, rah? The dog park that's the hiking path. There's a million people in their cars right now screaming the fucking name. <laughs> anyway. Runyon Canyon? Runyon Canyon, thank you. Ra, ra, I was thinking rah, 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 Runyon Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, uh, it's, it's, Tom, a, it's a very backwoods version yeah. of Running Canyon. Uh, Tom has gone up that a couple of times. We know Hennigan did it three times in a row one day. And it was crazy. Uh, no one's been up there for a while. And uh, Tom hit up Fury and he goes, hey, you want to go take the, your dog and we'll go grab uh, Ichabod and we'll, we'll head on up, uh, up the hill. It's razor wired. They came in and set razor oh, wow. wire up there. You can't even go up the path to get up to the saddle. <laughs> oh, they razor wired past the fence? Yeah. The holy fence? Yeah. Whole riddled fence? Yeah. It's because all those uh, no trespassing signs w- weren't working, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> well, it's basically, it's a path to a a some kind of a telecommunications yeah, relay. A satellite. Yeah, yeah. and uh, well, I mean, you could just walk around it. I don't know why you have to <laughs> put that up. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's changing. Well, we'll we'll get back to some of this stuff. We're gonna do some ads, but I just I'll foreshadow this. Uh, yeah, there's no Super Bowl party this year, yeah. so you don't try to be cute and show up because you'll get turned away. Okay, let's uh, do some ads. No, uh, maybe I'll have another uh, cup of coffee. Okay. Mocktails. Mocktails. <laughs> sad. That's the saddest, <laughs> the saddest <laughs> one. All by himself. <laughs> Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos all commission-free. While other brokerages charge up to $10 for every trade, Robinhood doesn't charge any commission fees, so you can trade stocks and keep all your profits. Plus, there's no account minimum deposit needed to get started, so you can start investing at any level. The simple, intuitive design of Robinhood makes investing easy for newcomers and experts alike. View easy-to-understand charts and market data and place a trade in just four taps on your smartphone. You can also view stock collections, such as the 100 most popular and the like. With Robinhood, you can learn how to invest in the market as you build your portfolio, discover new stocks, track your favorite companies, and get custom notifications for price movements so you never miss the right moment to invest. Robinhood is giving listeners of the Doug Stanhope podcast a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help you start building your portfolio. Sign up at stanhope.robinhood.com. That's stanhope.robinhood.com. Priceless pillow. I've been talking about it for weeks, and it made my nest complete. (laughs) I, I added new blankets to it, too, just to go with the priceless pillow. If you want to sleep like a corpse and while away your golden years, there's no better place for your head than on a priceless pillow. It's a premium quality luxury pillow at an affordable price. No more tossing and turning, folding your pillow up and sweating through the night. Priceless pillow can solve all of those problems including the booze sweats. <laughs> See for yourself. Log on to PricelessPillow.com and put in the promo code STANHOPE for 30% off your purchase of a Priceless Pillow. Priceless Pillow is the ideal pillow for all types of sleepers. Backside, stomach sleepers are all in love with it. You deserve a good night's sleep, and Priceless Pillow can give you just that. It has for me. Log on to PricelessPillow.com and put in the promo code STANHOPE for 30% off. Whether you're looking for King Queen, standard Priceless Pillow will work for you. Oh, and they have a five-year warranty, and it's machine washable, which is good for if you're a drooler like me. It also has 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you're not satisfied, they'll take care of it. Perfect. Log on to PricelessPillow.com and put in the promo code STANHOPE for 30% off. PricelessPillow.com. If that cat starts barking in the background, it's uh, don't give it treats because it, it just uh, this morning he had a giant breakfast of crunchy, wet mouse. Oh, gross. Living until it wasn't. Wait, it was <laughs> that's me. Was playing with it and chewing yeah. it, and it was still. Well, I was talking to my uh, Bingo's parents are in town, and I was talking to them about you know all this just ridiculous amounts of chores and hobbies and uh, stuff I've been doing, like looking for words, busy work, busy work. 
lots of busy work. And I said, I went through all the drawers in there. And Tracy <laughs> says, uh, uh, Chaley told me, yeah, no, that's Tracy's job. She'll do it. I go, no, I need the jobs. I need mm. the jobs. Mm. Uh, Cause, and I said, there was uh, mouse shit in the drawers, which there, there had been. Yeah. It got all cleaned up, but we hadn't cleaned out the drawers since it got fumigated or what have you. And she goes, Oh, do you have mice? Cause, uh, and I go, well, that house is borders on the Chaley's. The rest of this. And we have a cat, so there's never mice in here, like in the compound. And uh, I go, if there were, the cat would get them. And then I shrugged my own shoulders going, well, would he? <laughs> and then this morning, like he had heard me and had to prove himself. Yeah. <laughs> whipping that thing around in his mouth, dropping it, let it run two feet, pick it up. Then I'm shaking treats at him for him to drop it, and I'm like, "Why well, should let him eat that fucking yeah, thing?" Yeah, encourage that behavior. Yeah, he didn't want the treats. He wanted that mouse. Sure, that he. If there was a microphone on that, that oh. I could have played over the wall to Chaley to make him puke his bed. I, I, I don't know if your cat does the same thing, but my cat starts at their face. Oh, really? Somehow, like even whenever the ones that have the big rat-looking teeth. They're all yeah. yellow, and you can see it. Somehow, the, she, he just starts there and goes Lips. straight down, and then like licks it with that fucking cat tongue all the way down, so there's not a drop of blood spilled. It looks like somebody just cut it in half as when he's halfway done, <laughs> just keeps going down with it. It's it's amazing to watch. I watched. Uh. I, told, I think I told you guys the other one where he got a rabbit. And then didn't even kill it. It was just laying there, kept looking up at me, and it was eating its guts and its back hind leg. And I'm like, dude, that's just a dick move. I had to step on the poor rabbit's head. I felt bad like for it. Like Silence of the Lambs where he's eating a, yeah. a, a Leota, Ray Leota's head. <laughs> okay. His brain pant, the, the skull is cracked open, and he's he's like, whoa, I, what smells good? He's like slicing pieces of Ray Leota's head and put it in the pan. I, could, I don't remember ooh, that what's, part. What smell? Hey, are we all eating? I could, I could still, I could hear the rabbit like, just uh, kill me, dude. Fuck, this is fucked up, man. I was like, yeah, yeah, rabbit scream too, man. I they, agree. They Not make this one. He was silent. <laughs> <laughs> that rat that uh, Meatwig caught. Remember this? Fine. I don't remember it's that a rat. I showed you pictures and it. Well. I put it in a waste basket and it takes up the whole bottom of the waste basket. <laughs> yeah, and Meatwig got that thing and it it. Took a oh wait, yeah, it, it bit him. Of his yeah. chin, and that scab was there for like a month. But I saw like uh, I went in, you know, it's the morning, wow, 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 and I jump out of bed expecting to save a lizard or a bird or something. <laughs> this fucking rat scared me out of the- <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this? I don't have a, a gun or anything. Like- <laughs> oh, it would have been funny if you did. <laughs> Just picture channel there's like shooting seven up, holes shooting up the outlining house. outlining a rat that's now gone, but there's holes all around it. <laughs> Gotta open your eyes when you shoot, Stan. Well, yeah, that bathroom trash can, and I set it down, and Meatwig was fine to not play with this thing anymore because it took a chunk yeah, out of yeah. his chin. Oh. I didn't notice that till I saw where he originally had it in the kitchen, and there's a few pools of blood, and I go, that's. If that rat wasn't that wounded, that's a lot of blood. And There's that- no hyperbole here. This is exactly what you can walk into here at the compound. <laughs> There'll be some fluttering, like one wing kind of floppy and the other one tucked in tight. And there'll be, you know, a bird that you <laughs> did a bird just fly by me in the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> trying to get out somehow, you know, and then, you know, there's been well, you slept on top of a lizard for a week wondering what that smell was. <laughs> oh, it was more than a week. That was oh. way more than a week. It was somewhat liquefied into the sheets oh. by the time. For I the found first it. week, the lizard wondered what the smell was. <laughs> it was a week. <laughs> it was it was, a, <laughs> it was it was a week of me wondering what the stink was. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was, oh, that's right. It was, yeah, yeah. Weeks oh, before lizard. that, I remember the cat finally dropped the lizard. I was too tired to get out of bed and chase. I get him to drop it with the treats, but I didn't find it. I assumed that it would figure out how to get out of my bedroom. <laughs> Back to the lizards street. aren't little around here. Li- no, no. Lizards get a, a big around as a small guy's wrist around here. <laughs> It wasn't. Was it? Obviously, it wasn't a horny toad. You'd, you'd have felt that. It, w- it was. Was it upside down? Oh, was it? Yeah, the round that, ones. That, no, no. It had a head like that, though. It had a, like a bumpy head. It wasn't mm. your basic uh, geckoy thing. Well, I would it think you'd character. feel a horn horny toad if it was in your bed. <laughs> I got a cleaning lady coming over. First time we've had an actual cleaning lady, so she's coming over tomorrow. We'll see if we break her. And uh, when I saw. <laughs> 
Meatwig where one of his spots behind that chair by the front door. That was where I found the remnants of a bird. But last time I did a thorough, what I call a thorough cleaning. I was, uh, it was behind that chair. That was a, so there's, there's a tail back there now and the parts of the bird I couldn't get up last time that it kind of fossilized into Desiccated. the floorboard. Yeah. Does your, does your cleaning lady know to bring like chisels? <laughs> it's, my mom would get her, her house clean, but then before the lady would come over, she would vacuum, my mom would vacuum and dust. To pre-clean. Doug does kind of the same. He just removes any, like, bodies. solid bodies <laughs> or uh, arms. <laughs> uh, 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 I talk- hope you're here at 9 a.m. <laughs> so uh, you can do the walkthrough with me to point out all the shit that, like, doesn't need to be done. All right. This whole room will not exist in about two months. So oh, yeah, don't even no. worry about this. They're there's construction going on, so but don't talk yourself out of someone doing their job, though. That's uh, well, I've been doing it Stand because back. I've been <laughs> looking for every mindless project to do. Like I could be writing, but no, you can't do. But it's going to be dense, look, dense work. She's going to go in there, and you could say, "Ah, this is pretty clean," and she would probably throw up in her hand. It, it's she, uh, cleaning she's people have a the different level. House and- they have a different level of clean, yeah. and you certainly aren't. Even close to that level, but I mean, you, it's she, comfortable. For she's you. already done the quiet house, so I know how yeah. she works and how deep she cleans. Which she goes deep, like the oven. I would never think to clean an oven. I've <laughs> my never point in my exactly. life. <laughs> my point exactly. Fifty-two years old almost, and I've we, never once. We, we, <laughs> we have a self-cleaning oven where you uh, bake things on harder, the, close the latch, and then put it on, and it puts it on. I use it for a heater sometimes in the winter. Because it has it to on. get up like 500 degrees it or something. It go like, like 800, yeah. I oh, think. Wow. Yeah, it, but it like it turns everything into ash, and then you just wipe it out. That's what we did with Mother. I've never... <laughs> you put it in the oven? <laughs> I, <laughs> Do it yourself, crematory. <laughs> I've, I've never done, once done the wiping out part. I always forget <laughs> that part. <laughs> Jenny does, it, though, but if it was up to me, well, I you did the hard part. Like, yeah. You flipped the lever and then turned it on. I, I determine when to clean the oven by how cold it is outside. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I will buy food like the Marie Callender's Razzleberry Pie. Ooh, yeah, but you got to cook it in the oven for fifty minutes. So yeah. Oh, and you don't put a, a yeah. You don't put through February. I'll do that. But if you don't put a a, a cookie sheet under yeah. it that bubbling out goodness goes right to the bottom and then you got to yeah. use the self cleaner yeah. to get it because it just bakes on point being i will anything baked i'll i'll look for in the winter to <laughs> offset yeah. heating the house yep. even if i don't want to eat it i was going to make razzleberry pie this morning for myself because <laughs> you're Ch- chili fucking chaley chaley has been talking to me in the last week they almost Timed like he's doing it on purpose. Like it seemed like like six months. I didn't even know if Chaley even liked me anymore. He was never up here, but he's like Chaley you know, wouldn't I'm- come up for a game or anything. Since I went on this fucking random uh, cleanse, you know, minor short term wagon, Chaley's like, "What? You're not drinking either? Come on, <laughs> fucking scotch and soda. They're sweet, and oh, I mean yeah. literally sweet. There's something about when you put the scotch in it the soda. Really it's a, that, that whole uh, whatever taste. It, it turns sweet. And the, the peat taste. Peat. That's it. With that soda water, it's it, it is delicious. I am kind of into that now, and because uh, I, I do like a peaty scotch. And this, I've never had a scotch and soda. And I saw one of the old uh, Turner Class movies, <laughs> some of her scotch and soda. I go, what would that taste like? Fucking Tracy's texting me. What? It's Friday night. You're not fucking out here drinking. It's <laughs> skills competition in the NHL All-Star oh, Game. Shit. Boo! And I go, I should have never told you fucks that you're in the will. <laughs> this uh, this, yeah, this like, is the support they, I get. They don't like to do silver stuff. <laughs> that makes sense now. <laughs> He fucking comes in and like lays in my bed, chatting when I'm like hiding under the fucking covers. Are you covers. sure? Are you sure that he hasn't been doing this all along, and you're just now noticing? <laughs> no, because I, I was the guy. I wanted a friend to drink fucking scotch and sodas with, and Chaley's uh, he's uh, editing a podcast or a oh yeah that thing, you know, just, or yeah, something, just doing stuff. So he's doing stuff until this week. Until this week, when you left. 
and someone who came here to see you comes by and I spend four and a half hours entertaining, Tracy and I entertaining uh, this guy from Mongolia and his friend Evan and another guy named Dan and Alex O'Mara came over. And uh, they brought you a bottle. He's an American guy that he, I guess he ran my sound when I played Shanghai, China. Yeah. And he calls him the Mongolian guy because he found one of his travel log YouTube videos about 10 things that are great to eat in Mongolia, all it's of which were the same and they were yeah. awful. And <laughs> I, uh, this is dough with <laughs> other kind of dough. And, and then uh, uh, here's like a yak yogurt with. Uh, 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 tea leaves with tea. Love, yeah, grass. <laughs> this is what we drink you for get, tea. Why don't you just drink the tea? Well, you get, because they need the fat. You guys should have just let me keep picturing Genghis Khan coming <laughs> over here because I had no idea what to picture when you said Mongolian and my <laughs> oh, Chaley, idea was way better than yours. Chaley said, oh, the guy shows up wearing a red fedora. I go, oh, I'm so glad. I, I snapped a picture. Oh, he looks like a uh, hack oddity. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, he does. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Well, uh, yeah, uh, the it's a... There's a way to pronounce Genghis that is not westernized, oh. and he kept saying it, and I'm like, oh, no. dude. Oh. But what it's right douche. there. It's, I think it's Chinggis. He'd go, you know, Chinggis Khan. I'm like, I don't know. What Chinggis. The, right there, straight back with a bottle of G- Chinggis. The Chinggis. One, the one with a Mongolian on the front of it. Oh. <laughs> Chinggis. That's it. Know, t- <laughs> Pull it over here. Uh, you said there's another pronunciation, and then you pointed a wall that is covered with memorabilia, Ganipkanops, fucking shotskis, and and one bottle with a guy you didn't that say looks a Mongolian. Bottle. You just pointed Chingus, at that. It could be any of this. Chingus Grand Khan. Yeah, I think that's what you call Genghis Khan. It's Chingus. I think that's more. Chingus. That's the appropriate. I'm not here. I think that means something different yeah. in Spanish. Well, as long as, she, she does, as long as he didn't do like fucking <laughs> Havelina does, where she has to roll her Spanish so fucking hard that you couldn't tell one letter that's in the word <laughs> you just said. She's, and, just, and, ah, nah, nah. she's just showing off as yeah. opposed to having a conversation. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. fucking lutely At least he didn't do that with Mongolian. <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually pronounced. <laughs> We did have a fun time. It was uh, four and a half hours, but uh, yeah, another night of fucking drinking. So that was a. Many, you did uh, many make scotch. it to sushi. Yeah. Sierra Vista, I even stayed there one night. That fucking same place that you guys went to a comedy show, the fucking Windermere. I booked it for two nights. Uh, like, I, uh, I'm going there anyway. I'll bring a book. I'll spend the fucking weekend there. The wi- wait, wait, Windermere. Which one? Right just, across from the mall. Yeah. Used to, I thought it was nice. I went to a show oh. that I never. Oh, does it have there. the Sunset Grill? Yeah, it used oh, yeah. to. Yeah, 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 it yeah. used to. It be used nice. to have a bar and a restaurant <laughs> yeah. right on the property. Perfect. Nothing. Nothing. Wow. It, it used to be nice, and they were trying to sell it for years. I noticed, and I bet you they just quit because they, now they sell like uh, redneck family pool passes. <laughs> So that even if you're not staying at the hotel, you can give so them like a hundred bucks and you can court, bring Jesus. your family over and swim in their pool. Oh, and their pool isn't even that good. It's a small pool. No, I might just room looked red, out. Redneck passes will yeah. ruin any pool. <laughs> oh, but I'm saying it's tiny. I, yeah. My oh. room yeah. looked out on the pool and I... Yeah. Remember that one place in Louisiana where we finally stayed and uh, they had board, boarded up windows and stuff and we went into the lobby and they like yard sale they, going they, on. Yeah, like everything that they pulled from the rooms was on the counter to like check in and everything. It was like a TVs <laughs> and everything. And they're like, yeah, if you're interested, well, we want to check in. And they they gave us the keys and we went to the room and then we just turned right back. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, the the keys keys back. I didn't even We're ask for a here. refund because it was so <laughs> scary in the lobby. Was, they had all the toilets from the rooms that were they were tearing down. All the toilets from were, the like hurricane. lined up along the street. <laughs> Out in the parking lot, so you can see. Those, <laughs> yeah, the fact that they would even try to rent those, I would. I didn't even ask for a refund because it's too scary. I just go thanks anyway, hoping they'd be do the right thing, but they didn't. So I just had American Express do, like, just charge this back. I didn't stay there. Fucking scumbags. But uh, yeah, no, that place used to be nice. Oh, the restaurant is for. I go well. That's kind of why I I chose this this place to stay it's the only place in sierra vista that has a restaurant and bar on the site and uh yeah we're trying to get them to take that down 
<laughs> fucking just don't sell them fucking rooms until you know they're selling the rooms that you actually have. I thought and you meant the no open fucking sign. hot water in the bathtub. Like I was really looking oh, forward shit, to that's right. actually taking a fucking long bath. All we have right here is a shower right now during construction. And I go, ah, oh, that'd be nice. Take a fucking hot bath. Shave my ugly face. Nope. No, no bath. bath. I don't even care about the bar because I'm not drinking. But in case I needed some uh, fucking medicinal, uh, I'm not even doing those. You got it in case of in case of emergency drinks. I don't There's do those. A, uh, across the street, up the way, is a Holiday Inn Suites tucked in the back over there. All right. Uh, oh yeah, by Holiday uh, Inn uh, Express for sleeping yeah. are fucking great. That's, they really uh, all that you know the the chain the chain. I can't fucking talk. The hmm. uh, the the ad campaign that they have of, you know oh, your next it's all part? about sleeping yeah. it's, that's what, what they focus yeah. on the pillows yeah, the, the bedding bed, yes. fucking great yeah the, I'll Jen, do that Jenny and I took a vacation there uh, well <laughs> it's great <laughs> You could, have have, you could have skateboarded yeah. there from your house. Yeah. It's so yeah. close. Right, but we don't have a pool. Yeah, that's true. And our bed wasn't that comfortable and at they, the time. And they I sold think. out our redneck passes yeah. over at the window mirror. Yeah, were, hey, it was all Right full. next to the sushi bar that we go to. Oh, Hana. that place is horrible. Okay, yeah. I, used, I didn't know if you Oh, I lived there. there once. Oh, at the Quality Inn, I think Well, it, was? it wasn't called that at the time, but that right. same hotel. When we first moved here, um, we didn't have jobs and or a place to stay and that sounds right us for and our four kids and our two cats and our fucking three parrots all lived in one of those rooms and that's when i discovered <laughs> that's when i discovered that their windows don't open at that oh. hotel even though it's a ground floor it just has yeah. decorative windows no yeah that place was horrible we uh, two weeks we lived that's there tough with a cat i found a job and got the fuck out yeah we went down there uh when we found out that uh, they had a the sushi bar has a bar attached to it, and they used to do uh, Monday night football, they do karaoke a lot. So at night, it was I don't know if it's still operating as a bar, but that far side. So we'd go down for Monday night football, eat sushi, and then drink asahis till we're hammered and watching football, and then crash right there across the parking lot. And they had smoking rooms, which oh my god, it with no windows. With no windows. <laughs> And three is smoking cigarettes. That's about thirty minutes before Chaley knows he's been <laughs> he's done a podcast with you know. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't yeah. hit a wall like this. That uh, <laughs> that uh, uh, sushi place. Going with you guys, I never really cared for sushi, but now I was telling Jenny the other day, like. If we go someplace with sushi, Tracy's usually nice and will point out what's cooked for me. It's like everybody <laughs> now knows, like, all right, Chad's not going to eat sushi. But but uh, they had a, a dragon roll that was at that place that you're talking about. Yeah. And, I, and uh, Jenny and I got it, and it's fucking good. And uh, we went back again, and I got it again, and I got sick for four fucking days off of that dragon roll. Wow. And what's I was it? so disappointed. It was cooked. Place? Yeah, I think it's just like Shen Chen Yeah, something mm. something bad just happened. A bad run of <laughs> bad luck. <laughs> so yeah. bad. What is it? Hibachi? Is yeah. that the name of it? We I should give him a so. plug. Teppanyaki. Teppanyaki. Is that where the... Hana Tokyo. Hana Tokyo. That's the name of it, but it's a teppanyaki right. place that... Hana Tokyo. They do the, uh, the, the Benihana type right. thing. I think well, Hibachi's on the You should have probably let me tell a good story in between that one then, if you're going to give <laughs> yeah, him a go fuck. Like, well, now i now got to think of one. I mean, oh. No, you said oh, don't, no. don't get anything oh, I, cooked. Oh, I do. A long time ago, we went there, and it was they did the whole um, grill the shit up in yeah. front of you and flip fucking hot mushrooms at you and uh, <laughs> have a, a squeeze bottle of uh, hot wine that they shoot directly at your mouth. And I wasn't expecting any of this. I'd never been to anything like that. I think I was there with Jenny and like maybe it's like friends of hers from work at the hospitals had to like behave yeah. appropriately. And this dude starts shooting hot wine in my face. <laughs> and I just keep gulping it out of my mouth open and I just keep <laughs> swallowing and swallowing. I'm like, he's not stopping. He doesn't finally I have to close my mouth. And so I can swallow and breathe. And as I do, he just shoots hot wine all <laughs> down the front of my shirt. And I I remember this story because I turned to the table and I said, they call that the DUI special. And nobody <laughs> laughed. And I knew that I was not amongst fucking like-minded people. <laughs> Did you make them pay for your dry cleaning? <laughs> my, my, my NASCAR t-shirt. <laughs> The, the guy with a squeegee bottle full of hot wine always wins. 
<laughs> He's always going to win. I didn't win. know it was a contest. I didn't, never, I didn't even well, know he was going to shoot hot wine at me until it was hit me in the face. <laughs> Opening my mouth was a defensive move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Your catch. Coach, you a hot line. Oh, you oh. take my hot line. Oh. You take my hot line, oh. big boy. Oh. <laughs> Who's a tough guy? He no, take I rots. He take rots. I didn't, th- I, didn't, yeah, I didn't think of it that way. Now it's uh, now, now I'm kind of getting a boner. <laughs> guy was in there the other night, and uh, and I was just sitting there by myself, and there's a whole table of military guys around one of the hibachi tables, and... Uh, and he's telling jokes and he's like riffing with the whole table and he's like going like racial like oh black guy oh you're from Africa and he like, I, I don't even I don't hear the jokes I'm hearing some laughs and then some like awkwardness too uh, but it, it just I'm just hearing buzzwords and oh no a Spanish guy like that a Spanish guy like you he's like doing fucking uh, Lisa Lampanelli's act in a fucking a Benihana. And uh, he's killing. Uh, By the time he left, he's fucking getting high fives. I go, wow! If there was an open mic in Sierra Vista, I bet that guy would do it. <laughs> he doesn't need like, it. He, but he's I mean, already he, got a stage. Yeah, his well, fucking confidence and just yeah. pounding the rock. He's got hot wine and a knife. <laughs> <laughs> he's the only one armed in that place. Oh man! Super Bowl <laughs> this weekend again. Don't come here. There is no party. Might be a handful of the people who are here every week. Uh, my football friends, it's not a party. It's just a living room full of people in the Watching fun house. Football. And the door will be fucking locked and there will be a sign on it. Sorry, private party. It's supposed to be cold and rainy. So even if we wanted to do what we usually do is put a TV outside by the mm-hmm. fire pit. You, yeah, we're not doing that. I, I, this year you've had... You haven't had, like, many football. I haven't been over for football. Like, I think one time I stopped by, but that was because I didn't know it was Sunday, and I just peeked over the fence, and you guys There's, saw me. I can name you them. Yeah. Neighbor Dave and Fred. Brad, <laughs> Alex, Andrew. Yeah. That's the regular. That's who's yeah. invited to Super Oh, and Bowl. Gil. Sorry, Gil's the afternoon regular. I forget. He's Because he's a Seahawks he guy. Well, he, he works Lucy the morning shift Gil. at Redbone, so he has yeah. to come in. All right. Oh. So, yeah. Well, you won't see me unless you need me to stand at the fence and throw people out. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, yeah, just a, a simple uh, padlock will do it once we know that all the people that we're expecting are here. Mm-hmm. Uh, the problem is there's people that we know that wouldn't know that don't listen. Hey, you know what? You should have listened to the podcast. Uh, yeah. That's your invite. Yeah. That's the sign that you're going to put on the door, on the gates. <laughs> yeah, should have listened yeah, this, to the podcast. This Super Bowl. <laughs> we talked about you. First of all, this Super Bowl is for the board because it's fuck, it's fucking Rams, <laughs> Patriots. I, I mean, I'm from New England, and I, I'm i going to root for the Patriots, but I'm sick of them fucking stop. I was wondering which way you were going to go with this because I didn't pay attention to football, but I read a few headlines about the Super Bowl, <laughs> and I was like, so Stan, I didn't know you were being sober either, but uh, I thought he's either going to have just the same people for the whole year or he's going to have the kind of party where the – the, the the football game is secondary. No, yeah. <laughs> so I, I wondered which way you'd go. No, I'm uh, I, I I'm gonna get rid of as many snacks as I can. There'll be a few other people like the you know like uphill Kim and Dave. Well, uh, I'm, I'm I'm talking to you right because Kim does listen to the podcast, but she just texted me, "Hey, are you guys doing Super Bowl? Uh, we have a few friends coming into town." I'm like. I accounted for Uphill Kim and Dave, but not a few friends. There's going to be like 20 seats at max. This place will hold 20 seated. Are you still doing uh, reserved seats? No, I'm going to. I got post-it notes right here, motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, I'm not right. in reserved seats. Settle down. Yeah. <laughs> getting angry about this party. Yeah. Remember when it's not, not a party. Not a party. Not a party. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll show you that this is afterwards. a tiny list. For yeah, no, this was these were the notes I go. Uh, these are the Glenn Gary Glenn Ross leads I thought <laughs> I had. I go, no, we have a whole podcast I never got to before we went to Costa Rica after I went on a Twitter barrage. And uh, these are my notes. They don't even make sense to me. I took them on a plane, oh, of long. course. So uh, my pick is obviously I'm taking the the Patriots minus two and a half, but I haven't bet it yet. Is that the line still? Yeah, it's the last I saw. It'll probably go up to three. But I, I I don't care. A little close. bet, a little bit, tiny, <laughs> tiny. I don't. I'm not even interested in doing prop bets. I'm gonna get fucking hammered for Super Bowl. By the way, uh, maybe I will bet then. Yeah, yeah. Squares will probably be the most interesting thing going yeah. on at the Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, so we're, we're doing the regular dollar squares. We're going to do a, a big money board. Well, that's why I'm trying to for the non-party. Out, yeah, I'm trying to figure out who's going to be here. Yeah, are all your uh, regulars ballers, or are they all poor? <laughs> well, yeah. that's a, that's, if we can get Morgan Murphy back out here, she raises the stakes. She'll bet, yeah, and I'm like, I, I just it would be more fun to have Murphy here and bet her one on one, not using a sports book, just her and I. All right, because she's wow. she's one of the two LA fans. Her and Hennigan. Because they live in L.A. Yeah. And, ooh, we yeah. have a team now. Let's root for it. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, they probably hate the Patriots. Oh, no. Hennigan's got the Patriots in one of the preseason. I think so, oh, yeah. The, the postseason. The postseason. Pool. Yeah. I'm out. He's a winner either Chase way. Chase is out, too. And who are you rooting for? Rams. Right. Fucking Chaley's. Well, look. At, at the very least, I'm going to be contrary because I like there to be a little interest in the game. If I can't talk smack. That's why I love... That this is a Green Bay bar for most of the season because they're so passionate about it, and you can really make fun of them. Yeah. I mean, it's not that I but have they any- take it too seriously. I know like- that's why I take it seriously. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> But they, they don't talk shit. Like you get, I know, but I get talks to. more shit. If you just took yeah, whoever yeah. Hennigan's rooting for and went yeah. the other way, then you're gonna have a beautiful shit talking. That's what night, I do, and you'll forget which team you, which one was I again? All right, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. We're winning. <laughs> that's it. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, uh, I'm thank yous. Gonna, you. Got any thank yous? I, Chad has a thank you. Uh, I don't not. I don't have a thank you. Yes, you showed me the, the Is that picture. A rumor? Oh, I was gonna. I was thought I was gonna wait till that was Uh-oh. here, but I could do it. Oh now. yeah, I wasn't well, ready. The, the, wait, wait till I it's here, a, and then we I can have, show uh, a picture. Yeah, I have. Uh, but I did. I have been watching uh, some documentaries that I wanted oh, to right. uh, recommend, or at least to see. Because one of them, I watched the documentary, and I have a new hero besides. Uh, our Bud Dwyer and that kid who stole the airplane <laughs> and barrel rolled it and crashed yep. it into an island. Uh, and the kid Kip Walker, uh, Kip Rusty Walker, who uh, s- stabbed himself to death on an open oh, mic stage. Yeah, yeah. I dedicated I, an album to him. I, I, Went on stage, sang a song, and then stabbed himself to death while everyone laughed and clapped, thinking know. it was performance art. <laughs> So yeah, I, I saw another documentary, and I have another hero. Uh, the Ted Bundy tapes. Oh, no, that's, that's, no, no, I was, I was hoping you'd say that. I was that. just kidding. That's one of them that I watched, but that's not the one that was my hero. But did you that watch that great. one? Yeah, I, I stayed up. Uh, Conversations with the, the killer. Third, yeah. I woke up first thing and watched what I missed. Yeah, I, I watched. I, we, me and Jenny watched that one. It's. Uh, I forgot how much shit he did. I didn't like even, the escapes and being on the land for a, a month and a half as a fucking. Uh, a kid, he was arrested, and they know he's this slayer, but he hasn't. And then he goes out and, and kills more people. And he was still kid. convicted on zero evidence until the end of it when he uh, confessed. I was still like, wait a minute, did Ted Bundy do this shit? Because they didn't have no evidence at all. <laughs> That's true. They didn't have wait, shit. Which, where was he at? <laughs> was he the one? What's he known for? I mean, they had a, like yards and fucking circumstantial. Uh, was it uh, Son yeah, of well, Sam? Is that who this is? Ted Bundy? Is it Son Ted of Bundy, Sam? No, Ted and Bundy it, is just Ted Bundy. And it was you don't the, need no goddamn <laughs> moniker. He didn't, he didn't have a publicist? No way. He didn't need one. <laughs> He's a uh, really polite, good-looking guy. Politician. Handsome devil. Yeah. But what, where was he at? Where, Oregon, where Washington. Where did he do his work? Oregon, Washington, Colorado, Florida. Utah, Florida. Yeah, Utah, Florida. He ended up Florida where he went on campus uh, and the, stole, so stabbed he, the nursing school. You only got to add Florida. It's like comics wanting to hit every state. It's like, look, I can't really be a serial killer unless I do something in Florida. <laughs> 50 bodies in since, 50 days. Since I'm not, since I'm not from there. <laughs> yeah. One, that, well, that was one of the good, the not good parts. That makes it sound weird. Uh, interesting parts was that he escaped and then committed a bunch more murders after he escaped. I didn't realize Jumped that. out a courthouse window and that, disappeared. Well, that one he escaped only for a week and they yeah. caught him because he did a U-turn when he was driving out of town. Yeah. But then he escaped from... Wait, uh, no, that uh, was the one he was coming back into town because he's cold. the mountains, yeah. He was in Colorado. That's off. where he jumped the, out the window. was the yeah. other one where he... He jumped. lost weight and climbed out a uh, vent. Lost like 30 pounds. It's good. <laughs> but, uh, honestly, yeah. the Ted yeah. Buddy, it's four episodes of On about Netflix. an hour apiece. Netflix. Uh, the Ted Bundy tapes. I don't know the name of it. It's they called just Conversations with a Killer. The Ted Bundy tapes, and there's four episodes. It's uh, it was good. It's got everything. It's got the murders. It's got the escapes. It's got the and the he, court case. And you know <laughs> Ted Bundy's name, and that he was a serial killer. But I had I didn't know all of that detail. And he, you got his uh, he, like <laughs> hundreds of hours of tapes. This guy got. Yeah. You, so you have him basically narrating parts oh, of it. It's, it's a, it's, so what was the one that you were gonna say? Um. 
Um. Oh no! All right. Oh, okay. But hold on. First, I have another oh. one on Netflix. All right. Um, Gringo. It's the. Uh, did you watch that one? It's not great. Uh, it's a lot of it I already knew, but a lot of it I didn't know about uh, John McAfee. Oh uh, fuck the guy for uh, uh, the virus, uh, virus. antivirus, antivirus guy moved to Belize. The guy who creates a- all the viruses so you can fucking buy his program. Alert. Yeah. The, the best part that they kind of lead you <laughs> into, or oh wow, that's see, they seem, and then oh. Oh, he makes him do that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's not part. spoiler that's, alert. That's the same part that yeah. I... Yeah. That's, yeah. That makes it worth so the, the whole the, thing. The, so, yeah, those were the ones I watched on uh, on Netflix. And then and then I rented one uh, for two ninety nine on iTunes based on a 25-minute YouTube video that I watched, which was... You guys might have already known about this. Wait, the YouTube was was a was what a, the movie was based on, the, or was the it a YouTube, trailer? The YouTube was nothing but a like a the equivalent of a nine one one call. It, it may have been a nine one one call in nineteen seventy seven from a dude named Tony Karit Karitsis. He uh, he wired a shot sawed off shotgun to his arm and hand around his neck, and then around the neck. Of a big um, real estate investor that had ripped him off and done him wrong, and he just wanted justice. But the guy was completely psychotic. But I related to him a lot because he felt that he was right. The same way that when I erupted in court, I would have choked that dude to death in the middle of the courtroom <laughs> floor if it came to that. If it would have escalated <laughs> over nothing at all. And that's why I hate myself and I want to just be not around people. This guy was the same thing. He actually thought he was being a good guy through the whole thing. I want two cops. He t- he's so nice to the cops. He talks about how he loves them and he doesn't want to, you know, put them in this position, but they drove him to this and he has no, and I don't want to ruin the whole thing, but it's an old story from 1977. So I guess I could. He, uh. So hold on. Who has the, the shotgun wired to their the, hand? The, the Tony Kuritsis, the, the kidnapper. The kidnapper. Yes. And then the other guy. It's called the, 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 the uh, thanks, Shaley, for getting me back on track. Yeah. I appreciate it, sir. The, the documentary is called Dead Man's Line, All right. which is what it's called when you rig this up. In other words, I should have explained that too. If he, he has the advantage over everybody in that if they shoot him, it, it goes off yeah. and it's, tied to the back of his neck so there's he, the, essentially you're killing this man and everybody knows it yeah unless you let me you know go but i'm gonna be a diplomat about it and i'm gonna be decent about it all i need is a you know he matter of fact the only reason he called the cops to come up was to escort him down to a car so that he could go to the second phase of his plan is it a good documentary it's mostly consists of actual footage because there was a media frenzy it's worth three bucks on the whole thing definitely worth three bucks okay it's six say, bucks don't, to buy don't, it don't spoiler it yeah yeah let that guy send it sell some movies okay all right is this, all right. Is this it right I here i want to watch it yes okay Jesus. yes that's horrific looking yes and it goes on for a few days Oh, shit. And again, the documentary is mostly news footage. It was the first time that something like this had happened, and the media slammed on it. And was there's all kinds of actual footage of the whole thing. So uh, <laughs> I really, it was funny. I watched it with Jenny, and I'm, you know, I got tears in my eyes because I can really relate to the psychopath. And Jenny's over there with tears in her eyes because she can relate to the dispatcher who's trying to talk oh, him yeah. down. I'm like, we're watching this. For- Nobody we're- cares we're- about the real estate. Fuck yeah. that, well, yeah, that guy. Well, yeah, I don't want to give it away, but he, you know, there's, right. yeah, okay. I'm going to watch it. All right, uh, good, good. I hope I sold you on it with my shitty description. Unlike Stan, hope I've been drinking since I got here. So. <laughs> oh, we, uh, I, I don't know who to thank for this, but the, that's, that new magnetic sign is fantastic. It just yeah. Showed up without a someone's name. I tweeted it. If you go uh, in my, I haven't been on Twitter, so I get a lot of emails. So there's some good ideas, and I just say the same thing. It's only funny if you do it. Right. Yeah. And the the number is five two zero two two three nine zero one eight, and that's the number put on the sign for people to call. And one more we, time, that's five two zero two two three two two three nine zero one eight nine zero one eight. So, uh, yeah, and then when we get some calls from people that uh, are trying to find... Yeah, I get to drive it around. I haven't been driving it, but... uh, 
Yeah, this one it says uh, it's got a cartoon of a donkey ass to ass you know, first a- ass facing you turned and, around and, and turned around smiling, yeah, so, looking yeah. over its shoulder. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And it says <laughs> A Z play as play <laughs> donkey. Donkey rides. Donkey. No, donkey shows. Donkey shows. Rides, <laughs> rides yeah. and uh, something. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's a good one. Yeah, it's it's yes. it's like perfect. It's everything that we asked for. Thank you for nailing it because it's it it's perverse, but only like I, I first time I drove it, I dro- drove it through the thrift store drop off, and yeah. Joe came out with uh, Pat Gann's little kid, <laughs> and she's looking at the sign, smiling because it's a cartoon donkey. It doesn't know that you know fucking ass play me <laughs> sort of donkey shows. It's just parties, I think, real big. Yeah, yeah that's it's what it is. It's a yeah, jump yeah. house. Party. It's, it's a bouncy house. Donkey shows, uh, uh, rides and parties. parties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then there's a it has the burner number the five two zero and then it has a uh, legs and as play at Gmail or something. It's it's that guy probably set up his own. Uh, yeah. Whoever sent it field his own funny shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but oh, no, whoever I, you I are, I got it. He sent me the thing because he says uh, oh, no, no. He sent me the the, the Gmail account uh, login information. Oh no, shit. Yeah. Nice. But you didn't write down his name. No, I, well, I, thank I, you. I, totally guys. I, got about it. I just got it last night and I was like, what is this? And then I realized it was your sign. So, oh, so we can, so if anyone sends a email asking about rates, <laughs> we can respond. <laughs> that's great. Right on. All right. Well, uh, yeah. no, I have a thank you. Okay. Uh, our buddy Bill Nash from Nash Guitars, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. just out of the blue, sent me that fucking beautiful Jaguar oh, bass. Oh, wow. it's brand new. He he's just got he's a fucking artist, man. He makes them look all man. fucked up and old. Even like the 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 silver where the pit where the uh, the knobs are. He's that's all oxidized. I mean, he's oh. this thing is to the nth degree, just detailed beautifully, and it's a it's a great guitar. And nice. uh, thanks, Bill. I fucking love it. Nice. I want to cool. play. I want to play in a band now, just because oh. I got a oh. badass guitar again. I, I did have a uh, thank you. Uh, I got. Uh, I'm, I'm at about 300 subscribers oh, on my right. Twitch oh, channel nice. right now. So I thanks to uh, thanks to everybody who re-upped and uh, subscribed. Uh, you check me out at, uh, Twitch TV slash HD underscore fatty and I stream Twitch, Twitch dot TV, Twitch dot TV yeah. slash HD underscore fatty. Yeah. yeah. You fi- just look at my fucking Twitter. Yeah. You find it. I have it all over there, but I stream on Tuesdays, uh, Thursdays and Saturdays and, uh, Jovi usually hangs out there and a few other people from around here. We have a good time. And after uh, after this podcast, by uh, uh, fairly soon, because that's uh, that's my deadline. Super Bowl. That's my uh, that's my New Year's Eve. So uh, Monday is a national holiday of hungover, and uh, then I'll be hooking up with uh, Brian probably in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, to have a uh, s- have some meetings, spend some days, and hammer out what the fuck we're gonna do with the rest of this career. So. Uh, yeah, if you're in Vegas, don't fucking talk to me. I'm doing business. <laughs> Go play the horse race, yeah, Doug. Go play you, the horse race. Unless right. you have a free place. Uh, the Luxor. Yeah, if, you have, uh, if you have like a really nice uh, timeshare or something there, I can stay in without you there. That'd be great. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. You, since you're sober, when we were there, as we were leaving, I never mentioned this. There's a guy that has the, does the marketing for like the race car driving. Oh, he wanted you to go and check it out, and uh, I told him that. Uh, well, we're not. You'd have to be sober to drive race cars, and we were not that the whole time. But thank you. But now, if you're sober, you I can think check I'd only do that drunk. I think yeah, that's I one think of those. I think that'd be more fun if we drunk. all went. That'd be another time we all went. That'd be yeah. badass. It's not just yeah. I'm there. For I want to play horses. If we That's, go yeah, back, yeah. That's, I never thought I'd want to go back to Vegas. Hey, I just, but I, play I, just re- <laughs> I just resubscribe. That's how quick it is. You just go on and you do it immediately. Thanks, Shaley. I appreciate I, it, it. It's so much easier than the actual setup of the account. But yeah. once you're in, it's fucking great. Just resub. And, yeah. Set a reminder on your phone is what I tell people. Yeah. And if you want a voice reminder, uh, send me a whisper on Twitch. And just tell me you want this, a uh, voice fucking, reminder. Look at Techno and, uh, Bob over here, man. And I'll record a voice reminder. I've done it already for several people. So <laughs> I'll, uh, you know, we yell, I'll get yell at you. I can be angry. So you get chatted. Re- remember to fucking subscribe to fucking Shank's Twitch channel, you piece of shit. Hey, hey, people hey, like that sometimes. This is Chad. I'm so eating, yeah, that's... I'm going to eat this pickle now. Stroke it. Stroke it on the left side. Here goes the pickle. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Listen, I'm a whore. I don't care. Uh, We're done. We're done. See you next Wednesday with is it a is it an evergreen or is it not? <laughs>